Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about another multiply command. These are the break command, the break at point command, the join command, and the reverse command. So first, we're going to talk about the break command. So the break command, it will break selected object between two points. So example, we're going to draw a line. Okay, so this is a line. And then, this break command is located in the modify panel. This is the icon for the break command. Select the break command. It says here, select object. We'll select the line. And then, we have a choice to specify our second point or we first select our first point so we'll select our first point and then let's say from here this is our first point then click and then we can drag now to create a break on the line so let's say up to here so this is how to do a break on a line next we will go into draw a circle so let's select circle and then from here the center okay and then we'll use the break command select the break command and then we'll select the object so we can now so we can now create a break it says here specify second break point or we will choose our first point so if we're going to specify our second point of the break so let's say i'm here okay so next we're going to use the break command on a polyline so let's make a polyline a close polyline okay. and then we'll use the break command break command select the object and then we can create a break so this is how the break command works next we're going to use the break at point so the break at point will break selected object at a single point. So again, let's draw a line. And then the break at point is located at the modify panel. This is the icon for the break at point. Select the break at point. Select the line. Select the object. And then we have now, we can specify now our first break point. So let's say here will be our first break point then click and now we can see we have now a break point next we'll do a polyline so let's say okay this is a polyline and the same the same procedure modify select the break break at point and we'll select the object and we'll choose where is the location for our breakpoint? So let's say we'll do the break here. So now this portion here will now have a breakpoint, break at point. Okay. So next we will do the join command. So the join command will join similar object to form a single unbroken object so we are going to join this line so the join command is located in the modify panel this is the join command we'll select the join command and then it says here select source object or multiple object to join at once since we have only two object so we'll select first the source let's say this is our source We'll select the second one 
and then press enter so we now use the join command to join the line next we will going to join this circle if we are going to check the properties of this circle so this is an arc before a circle now it is an arc so we are going to to return it to a circle so how can we how can we join this so what we are going to do we are going to use the join command so we'll select the join command and then we'll select the object enter and then here select arc to join source or close so we will going to use the the option close so our our arc now is returning to circle next we have a polyline as we can notice in our in our properties this is a polyline so we're going to join the polyline so to use the join command can select this one and then select another one enter so nothing happened so since this is a polyline we can use the the polyline edit or the edit polyline or we can simply select this and then right click and then choose the polyline and under the edit polyline we're going to choose the option close so now we join the break on a polyline and then here here at the break at point so we simply use the join command to join this line so on the modify panel select the join command and then select the first one and then select to join enter so the line now is joined as one object next this one the same procedure join command select first one select the second enter so they are now joined okay so next we're going to talk about the reverse command so the reverse command this will reverse the direction of a line polyline spline and helix object so first we're going to draw a line this is a line okay and then a polyline so let's say a polyline we'll do a close polyline okay. next spline Draw a spline next the helix we're going to change view okay. so helix command on the drop panel and then set the like center okay. so now we have line polyline spline and helix so if we're going to apply the, the reverse command let's select on the modify panel this is the icon for the reverse command select the reverse command then we'll select the object okay then enter it says here object direction has been reversed but on the on the actual line we cannot see the the reverse result so for us to see the reverse result we must change the line type of this object so on the later properties i have here the line type so this one this is symbol for a water supply so we'll select this and we'll change the line type 
so we'll begin on the helix so we'll select reverse command reverse command select the object enter so as you can see we saw a reverse result so next we're going to change view okay, so we are going to reverse this one again select the reverse command modify panel and then select the object we we'll select this line then enter so as we can see the line we can see now the reverse of the line okay so last or the polyline next the polyline we'll apply the reverse command select enter so we can see now that this polyline has reverse then last for our spline observe the line type the letter reverse command select the object enter so we can see now the result of the reverse command so this is it guys for the the break break at point join and the reverse command so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to receive the latest video from this channel thank you for watching and i will see you on my next video